What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to show you how to become the ultimate beef boss. In this video I will show you the cosmetics to equip, the ideal weapon loadout, the perfect landing zone, favorite game modes and lore behind the walking reincarnation of the Durburger himself. That's right, today you will become the ultimate beef boss. So without further ado, let's get started. For cosmetics, the beef boss only wears Durburger branded merch. As a result, you want to equip the deep fried back bling, the Paddy Whacker Pickaxe, the Flying Saucer Glider, and the Lightning Contrail. For emotes, be sure to equip the Finger Wag to discourage any thievery. Now be sure to stay away from any spray paints because the Beef Boss absolutely hates any form of vandalism. When it comes to the weapons and items loadout, Beef Boss keeps it plain and dry. He favors revolvers, hand cannons, and shotguns. Pretty much anything that he can keep hidden under the cash register. His absolute favorite weapon to wield is the double barrel shotgun and he uses it to great effect. For heals, the Beef Boss typically has a slurp juice or two handy as well as a few minis just in case. The Beef Boss always lands at the Durburger restaurant in Greasy Grill to make sure that any and all customers are taken care of before he heads out on his mission. The Beef Boss favors the solo and duo game modes and makes it a point to only ever team up with his best friend and fellow mascot, Tomato Head. There have been rumors of Beef Boss running with fellow employees as well, but these have yet to be confirmed. The Beef Boss's ultimate mission is to locate and retrieve the missing Durburger mascot. He will stop at nothing to complete his mission to ensure that any prospective customers get the opportunity to enjoy the complete Durburger experience. He is a master of rift travel and uses them to scour the map in search of that big beautiful burger. The Beef Boss absolutely hates scoundrels and rapscallions since they always try to get into the fast food joint to steal anything of value. Above all else, he will target any and all drifts in sight. Once he learned of the vandalism and graffiti on the Durburger, he snapped. The Beef Boss wants nothing more than return to the Durburger restaurant to its former glory. But what will he do when he finally finds his most prized possession? Only time will tell. And oh yeah, don't ever ask him the secret ingredients to the special sauce. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.